Hello, welcome to channel Maths Magic. Today we are going to discuss the distance formula. This topic belongs to the coordinate geometry. Over here, we will discuss what is distance formula and what it is used for and how we can derive distance formula. So first, let's see what it is used for. Over here, that you can see that we are having two points A and B on the Cartesian plane. And if you want to find out the distance between these two points, we can use the distance formula. So this is basic understanding or basic use of the distance formula. So simply you can say the distance formula is used for finding distance between two points in the Cartesian plane. Now, what is the distance formula? So over here, okay, let me make the point. Distance formula used for to find the distance between two points in the Cartesian plane. Now second thing, what is the distance formula? So if you are looking for distance between point A and B, so let's say AB is equal to, so this is the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square under root. Now what these x1, x2, y1, y2 are? So over here you can see A is the point in the plane coordinates of point A are x1, y1. Similarly, we are having another point B in the Cartesian plane with coordinates x2, y2. So, over in the formula, these x2, x1, y2, y1 are coordinates of the point A and B. So, this is how you can use distance formula. So if you are given with the coordinates of A and B, you can easily find the distance formula. Now I'll discuss how actually this formula is derived. So it's clearly marked on this diagram. You can see that we are having coordinate a. We are ha having coordinate A. Sorry, we are having point A. And the coordinates of point A is x1, comma y1. And we are having point B with coordinate x2, comma y2. So, if <clears throat> you will horizontally translate point A towards B. Uh, I mean to say if you will draw a line parallel to X axis parallel to X axis from this point A towards this point B but we will draw it horizontally non vertically. Now you just draw another line which is parallel to y axis or you have to draw a vertical line from point B. So you can see that these two lines which we have drawn over here from point A horizontally and point B vertically both the lines intersect at this point 
and they are making 90 degree to this point now if you join these points from a to b so this is your right angle triangle this is right angle triangle now opposite to 90 degrees so the, these two lines are intersecting horizontally and vertically so it's for sure it's 90 degree if you still have any doubts about this you can separately ask me i'll explain you why it is 90 degree so opposite to this is hypotenuse and these are opposite and adjacent or perpendicular and base if you can recall pythagoras theorem so pythagoras a let's say this is c a b so pythagoras theorem says c square is equal to a square plus b square so if we can find the distance between these two points it will be easy for us to apply the pythagoras to this triangle so we can easily find the distance between these two points and distance between these two points so we have to come back to the original diagram now you can see over here this coordinate is x over here this coordinate is x and this sorry this coordinate is x1 and this coordinate is x2 so for your basic understanding i'll just consider this x1 as let's say 2 and this x2 as 4 so let's mark these two points on the x-axis so this is 2 and this is 4 now if you want to find the distance between these two coordinates x1 and x2 or 2 or 2 and 4 so you have to simply subtract 4 and 2 so this distance is going to be 4 minus 2 which is 2 over here but to generalize this we are considering this as x2 and this as x1 therefore distance between these two points on horizontally is x2 minus x1 so this distance is x2 minus x1 okay now go to vertical line over here this point if you extend towards this so this is y1 this distance is y1 and this distance is y2 so it's the same example now if you want to find this length so we can find easily by subtracting y2 with y1 so this length over here is y2 minus y1 now if you want to find the hypotenuse of this triangle we can easily apply pythagoras to this so our length of other sides which is opposing adjacent or perpendicular and base are x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 so i'll write over here we are applying pythagoras to this so if i'm considering hypotenuse okay i'm writing hypotenuse only hypotenuse square so according to formula it will be hypotenuse square is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square because we have found the length of this side as x2 minus x1 and Pythagoras says c square is equal to a square plus b square so a over here is x2 minus x1 and b over here is y2 minus y1 so 
this is y2 minus y1 whole square okay now what the hypotenuse over here is you can see this hypotenuse is a b a b from the main diagram so i'll just replace hypotenuse with a b square is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square and if you will further simplify this we can write square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square hope it's clear now so this is how you can find the distance formula or how you can derive the distance formula if you know the distance formula you can easily find the distance between any two given points and major role over here in deriving distance formula is the pythagoras theorem if you don't know about pythagoras theorem you can ask me separately thank you for watching